Hi guys, uh, it's Krista with Krista Marie Design, and as promised, I'm coming to you guys today with this really cute little card here. Um, we're going to be doing some water coloring, and then I used the Fun Stampers Journey Merry Christmas or Holiday Wishes set, and I'm going to be using this Merry Christmas, Wishing You A, and these three snowflakes. So, yeah, these three. So. I'll be using those, and then I'll also be using our Sparkle Dust and Black Licorice Ink Pad. So let's go ahead and get started with this. First thing you're going to need is watercolor paper, and you're going to need to cut those to four by five and a quarter. This is watercolor paper. You can It's hard to tell on the video, but it's kind of textured here. You want to make sure you use watercolor paper when you are doing these cards. So I have three of these here because I'm going to be making three cards. And then you're going to need a piece of black licorice uh, card base. I have three pieces of that. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. So we're going to start with our watercolor card, I mean our watercolor base. So I'm going to do this here and I'm going to zoom in so you'll be able to see this really well. Okay. And I'm just using these basic watercolors from Michaels, it's by Artist Loft I believe. Um, and I'm using the Fun Stampers Journey water blending pen. So it looks like this. It's a blending brush, and it has a brush on this end, and it picks up water. So I'm going to be using that. On this palette, I'm going to be using this light blue, a darker blue, a really dark blue, this light pink here, and this purple. Okay, so again, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five colors I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start with my light blue. Let me put all the water in these. Okay, so we have the blue here. And let me make sure. Yep, yeah, good. Okay, so I'm going to put in some of this blue. Okay, I'm going to go with the next dark color here. Uh, let's go over here. And then I'm going to go with this dark blue over here. And as you can tell, I am not being nice and pretty with this. I just slapped it on real fast. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of pink. And a little bit of purple. And then I'm coming back in with this light blue. Ooh. Let me get a little bit more of that light blue here. And I'm just putting in some of the blues and then using water to blend that around. So now I'm going to make my borders a little more uneven here because I like that where it looks kind of. Um, just brushed on. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the side and do another one here. Again, starting with my light blue. Come in with my darker blue here. And then my darkest blue. And my pink and purple. Okay. There we go. And one more. And 
I like doing these watercolor backgrounds because you don't have to make them nice and perfect. You just slap it down and go on. There we go. Okay. So now I have my three sets. I'm going to um, pause this while I hit it with a heat gun just to dry them really quick. Okay guys, so I got these dried, and as you can see, this is kind of what they do when they dry. Really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp, and because I'm doing three of them, and because I'm stamping on watercolor paper, I'm going to be using a stamp positioner. So I'm going to start by putting this in here. So I'm going to take my black licorice and ink this up. And I'm going to do it a second time just to give it a little bit more color here. Oh no! It moved on me. Well, that's why we made an extra. The only reason it moved on me is because mine is actually broken, but I still use it. That looks good. I'm just going to leave it just like that. So I have our two backgrounds now. I'm going to take this and because we're using watercolor paper and because it's all warped like this now, uh, you want to make sure to put adhesive really good all the way around it. I spilled that water. Oh well. Just makes it look nice and splashed instead. So we're going to take this and do it all the way to the edges. And you want to do it down the center because this makes it lay down nice and flat on your card base. And we have this one right here where I accidentally splashed a little bit of water. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to this side. And that's the great thing about working with this Fun Stamper's Journey ink is it's not going to bleed. 
There we go. It's not going to bleed where it touched that black ink. If I was using another brand, then it would have bled from that water. There we go. So, see? Happy accidents. Oops. There we go. Right down the center. And then one last thing I'm going to do with these two cards. I'm going to take, I'll put down a piece of paper behind them. I'm going to take my mister, just my little water mister from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's got a little bit of water in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to splash these a little bit all over and then I'm going to take the sparkle dust and I'm just going to do a tiny bit across the card and that water just kind of helps it stay stick to the card you don't have to use a spray adhesive or anything like that there we go so I'm going to just take them and dump them a little bit. And again, because I used the black uh, Fun Stamper's Journey ink, when I sprayed that with water, the black ink didn't go anywhere. So, get those cleaned off. I put this back inside the container. And now I have three Christmas cards ready to go out. And they are very nice and sparkly. Look how cute those are. All right, guys, so there's my three or my new Christmas card for the day. You can find me at Krista Marie Design. I am on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. You can find me on any of those, and I will be continuing to do some really cute Christmas cards from now through Thanksgiving for you to send out. Thanks, guys.